Hey guys, Rooster Supreme here. Uh, so, Monster Camp came out yesterday. This is the first of the Monster Camp 2 games. Uh, there are going to be multiple different games. They're all going to be Monster Camp 2, Monster Prom 2. Uh, Monster Camp is the first one that's out. Uh, full name of Monster Prom 2 is uh, Monster Prom 2 Holiday Season. I kickstarted this when the Kickstarter was available. Uh, I got uh, my pledge. I got uh, original outfits and anime outfits and I think a couple other things. Those are the ones I remember from the moment. Uh, so, one of the things we have here is a customized game, uh, which is a bit more. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, uh, but uh, it's easier to customize certain aspects. So instead of just being Halloween by default in October, you can now select Halloween. Same with anime. I have posted a couple pictures of anime on uh, on my Twitter. Uh, can uh, put trigger warning filters on. Uh, uh, for the record, I am not going to filter anything. I'm going to keep everything on there. Uh, and then you have the Damien B costume, which I have no idea what this is about yet, but I'm worth finding out. Sexy is defaults. I, of course, have been super sexy this week. Why would I not? So, I'm not going to do the Halloween costumes yet. And I'm not going to do anime costumes, I'm going to play with the anime costumes, I've seen that. So we're going to do with their camp costumes and see how that, see what they all look like. So I believe there are differences from the camp costumes and the original costumes. I might be wrong on that. I should mention as well. Like the first game, this has Steam Share. We're going to do a full hour game. Oh, Camp Spooky. The stage of some of our dear summers back then were young and unafraid. School far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer's that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days or the nights and you greet you with possibilities. It's like. Life could take a turn at every corner, but for us it did. Oh, I, I believe due to COVID stuff, some stuff hasn't been completed in here yet. I know some missing voice areas, where I know there should be voices. Uh, we're going to be Vicky today. This is how you do the stats this time. Uh, you decide what to pack into your bag. Iron Meat Sleeping Bag. Summer love moved over our heads. Close to the, to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just five minutes away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. It's so silent, yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster problem all over again. Everything was uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on the meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. 
Joy Johnson Jojima, 23 of that, which she went chill a bit after sleeping well countless times. Yeah, no, she really doesn't. <laughs> I happen to have her the first time through. She's very much a work hog. Aravi Mish Mishra 22, a hothead adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculus for Hewlett Packard, version 1.1, a library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia Kino, 20, a buff blue demon and warmonger would set her sights on conquering summer next. Demon LeVay, 21, a fierce demon with a taste of destruction and a little fire. And Milo Belladonna, 23 question mark, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who is profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long, and all summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. So it was clear, it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Break the ice by doing something I spent on the bus. Just a huge burp, starting to sound compulsively, just sigh loudly. Spend the, the trip updating your software. Swear about your swarm enemy or challenge someone to a scary room. So you kind of guess who most of these are, are for. Uh, I'm curious about the, about the Reaper, uh, and this seems like theirs. By the way, uh, they is, is their pronouns. That actually is part of that, uh, which I appreciate. Start taking selfies compulsively. Yeah, there's my own. I'll take selfies already. I've already taken more than 86 before we left Monstropolis. So yeah, I called this series. We were going through a tunnel and I couldn't connect to LTE briefly. Perhaps the next series could be selfies of together since we are still so drifting the art form. Hell yeah. Tell this one, Vicky and Milo Shoy before totally banging at summer camp. I had five weeks left to war crushes and conquer their hearts. But, as I already said, we were young and afraid we were ready to start. Jazz, I see. Well, I'm through with this camp. The only music you'll be appreciating is a soft rock cover of Eight Brick Art on Endless Repeat. And you're going to turn Camp Spooky into a dad's house? Wish you were that lucky. My evil CEO, after all, so I'm here to buy a Camp Spooky for him to a shopping mall. Really? How do you get the piece of wealth with so little business sense? No one gets it. No one goes to shopping malls anymore. But yeah, hot shot. Where do teens go to hang out with their friends? 
the internet. Okay, okay, but where do brands haunt their weirdest wares? The internet. Fine. Where I ask you to people buy useless sketches, they die. The new will truly be one who works. They go order with their empty lives. The internet. Skyball catalog, also the internet. I forgot about Skyball, but yeah, that, that's not wrong. Curse the internet. This got me a turn less. This is it. By the internet, build Sean Mullen. Just make a few calls. Do you know how the internet works? It's not an option you can buy. Is that car phone? That's just a sports car you didn't drive here? You're. Done. Turns out the Vanderbilts were looking to sell the internet after all. Of course it's the Vanderbilts. Of course it is. Too many peasants, they said. Looks like it's time to ruin the business. For this word, the CEO soon makes the internet even more of its first way than it was before. How? Also, he installs the Annie's printer somehow. Yet, how? No, my beloved internet. How many followers are medically connected with my brand? The internet is cool with all these brands. I have to do this, but there's a second severe net I have no doubt. Now I will be able to pull out, but this is an emergency. If we just transfer everyone else to the internet, then we don't agree with that audience. Machinations, but how will we convince everyone to jump ship? Let's see, spread a rumor that the current internet has reached its expiration date, also, it's hard to smell bad. The internet is too fast nowadays, and the internet is slower, so people can really save it. This thing was probably a creativity check. Someone think tells me that both of these are checks that uh, I'm not going to pass. <laughs> Also, Liam's not in this game as far as I know, so... But is that true? Why is it bad looking for you now? It's true, you're sure, then. Have they noticed the signs? Well, when food is run, it starts to smell bad. They go on an appetizing color and make an increase in the number of race comments. Oh, wow, you're right. That you can point that out and take a look at these memes from 15 years ago. They're so stale, hope no one's trying to food poisoning for consuming this inspired content. Do you think all the fake news with Sir Troll and Ship was with her poles was supposed to be too much too? I don't know, the story's another one of your dumb lies, but the review the internet has been wrong for a long time right now. I used to claim whatever the internet would freeze my computer, but now I'm just to stay frozen. It would be spoiled now. Speaking of which, I would make sure the internet doesn't see the same thing. So we prevent any spoilage, you tell them. Keep it cool, watch your hands for using, and if all else fails, we preserve with plenty of salt. Ah, uh, salt is place of life. We we'll have to make sure to recruit all the League of Legends players first thing. Once you disseminate your information, everyone is happy to switch over to the internet. Sorry, the League of Legends thing got me. Especially since the old internet really has started smelling old. Curses wants to get up again while young adults and let them with nothing but a pile of school of garbage and desire for revenge. Oh, you vacuum heard the last of Mr. Pappas. Who was that? I feel like I talked to him earlier, but he was one of the friends, so I forgot. He did too. They're too busy enjoying the new internet. I miss how dank memes used to be, but the hot takes are especially hot. Cute charm and white smarts. are wearing terrifying black robes, getting the broken bloody body, and chanting. They try to flee, but one of them shoves a flyer in their hand. The ink burns your eyes to read, but you manage to find the words. New recruits get healthcare benefits with same day sign up. What? Sold? Okay, a bunch of new clothes buddies, and your new insurance covers two fold and it's a cool. Slip away and link up with Milo, they are reaping a baby koala today, and they call you a super cute. 
Here at Vicky, come on, this adorable little soul won't harm itself. I guess the Halloween's all by default because of October, but you can put Halloween on at any time then. Or maybe that just is that character's look? Which is scary if it is. Oh my teenage god, Milo, it's me, your biggest and most useful fan. I have all your social media albums. Okay, it's not a Halloween costume. I wish it was. Sure you do, honey. Anyway, this koala... Aha, I fooled you. It's really me, Counselor Flodge. This disguise is for this whole town. There you are, darling. I just thought you'd finally seen the light from my, my lovers. Just like fooled you with camouflage. I'm here to teach you how to do the same. No, thank you, my sweet, oblivious lizard person. What kind of monster would I have to be to hide this endless elegance from the world? You're talking about physical camouflage. Why would you think outside the box? My height and size will do camouflage. Talking about digital camouflage. Everyone can. Everyone needs the most, and I'm going to teach it to you. I can flush myself online. Why do you want to do that? I have wings to put fans. More people to fool with your incredible online camouflage. Sorry, but I hope Belladonna was not born to be invisible. I can heck that wasn't born at all, but you get the idea. What about incognito mode? Clearing your search history so that way knows you can go into bridgeswithdicks.com. Please, please tell me they have registered that. Please. If you think I'm not about to look. registered yet. I'm not leaving you alone until you admit there are at least some situations for disguise yourself on eyes. Good idea. Oh boy, it looks like you're gonna have to step in here if you want to kill that koala before sundown. It's a kind of e-disguise model we've been down for. To really rename your account, Chris Hemsworth official, the double follow account of the night. Or Facetune, it's like disguise yourself with a hotter version of yourself. Hard one. I feel like I have a better chance with Phase 2. Phase 2? I love Phase 2. It's a way to upload my favorite cross with my face. The guest flash is somewhat Phase 2 at all. It's an app that helps you become your best self, but airbrush away all the bad parts. Okay, I screwed that up then. I was afraid of that. Oh, that's what it is, Sha. I've been doing my face for years. Here, look at my things. Phase 2, you just upload the skin for Arnold Schwarzenegger's 90s, and I can add to it, but that's me, we're not that damn as we need. chit chat, time to show these two what Phase 2 is really about. You bust out your phone, get to work, and go on a picture of yourself. It's all admits of fine. Phase 2, you present your masterpiece. Vicky, your two faces is breathtaking. If I have any breath, it would take it. Look at your normal, the underwhelming face to respect me. Ouch. I like you with your numerous blemishes and charming symmetries when what I really crave is that most airbrush version of you. I could press myself to the screen to be with this angelic beauty for the last time trapped you with my conscious feelings and regular face. Now that I've seen this perfect visage, your flesh and your faces are like ash in my mouth, my eyes and you are fresh my eye mouths. This is the worst of all, for its very ugliness reminds me of the direction which I cannot touch. It's my fate to wander the world and the new of search of beauty as divine as the one. This image of flying only pale mutations of yours? No, I will not despair, but I will travel, always searching for the aesthetic and consistency I taste here today. Thank you, Vicky. Your weird bad face has started me on the journey of a lifetime. Not exactly the reaction you were hoping for, my old slightly faces around the camp. Bring your image to everyone's faces while you quietly lose and keep on in one whole mess. Ouch. Hemsworth one was gonna work either. Marshmallows, anyone? So we have opportunities to switch paths from one to. I'm gonna stick on the Milo path, just to see how we do. Uh, in multiplayer, Monster Man is for starting rumors. I mean, 
Oh no, it must be does uh, single player. Well, enjoy staying close to the campfire. Who is supremely annoyed while well, Milo shoves their phone in her face? Oh, hello, Vicky. I've just been showing Joy this delightful woodlism called Rich Covenant. Who are you? Want to try? Not humor them, Vicky. This quiz does no justice to the actual crowd of the my girls I go through as cover members. Oh, don't be so cranky. These questions are fun. What's this one? If you were afraid of ice cream, which would you be? The choices are black licorice, birthday cake, here in soon, and vanilla. Well, I'm definitely a black licorice, so dark and mysterious, but so sweet. What's ice cream to do with saving the world? It's all bullshit. You know this, you could have frozen dessert first. What's free for ice cream? Okay, last question. What's your idea of a perfect first date? I think I'll choose a long way to walk from the beach. It's a classic for a reason. Results are in. Are you ready? I don't care. Ooh, I got Joy Johnson Jojima. Ah, oh, that makes no sense. I'm such a joy. What? No way. I'm Joy Johnson Jojima. There can only be one. This is the pudding, darling. The pudding being magicwoods.com. You want to try? Once again, you know what I'm doing. Gee, that makes so much sense. You're a total fate. I'm not. I'm literally actually joy. I don't mean physically, but your soul, your complete fate. Well, that's black, like the animals, the world, and perfect sense. With this faith, I have some overlapping personality traits that you never seen. Yeah, she should probably step in and resolve this argument for joy's words and what's near jobs, and she a fate or not. Let's file this quiz as part of an evil plot to undermine the topic. When any crisis with this, it's officially problematic. That'd be for jo Joy. Or teach Joy the importance of self acceptance and help her embrace her inner faith. What? But that's not the point. I don't have self esteem as you have just not faith. Oh, Joy, you don't need to hide your true self from us. That's right. Well, no matter what comes from you. It's not for debate. I'm not faith. It's literally all there is to it. Joy, sweetheart, don't fight. This quiz is up in all those reaches and depths of our souls that are maybe we truly are. Personally, I near exclusively use social media quizzes to learn important things about myself so I can test what's helpful is. You're a safe place. I'm sure that that's healthy? It's not, but we don't care. Of course, for instance, the Myers Briggs test helped me understand I'm a debater, and for what the hell is a debater? This is what the debater is. So I'm getting to let you build your Kardashian Sona quiz. We get in touch with my inner Courtney. So you see, it's true that you're not actually Faith, but maybe the real Faith is how it feels long. Leaving. Oh well, sometimes self discovery is a long winding road. You must help push in the right direction. Ooh, Vicky. What about BuzzFeed you just uploaded? These five questions will reveal your spirit pasta dish. Go find Rigatoni. Wait, which sauce pairs best with Rigatoni again? We better Google it real quick so you can love the questions and end up as my little soulmate. Just shows that true love is possible, all through the power. Partial personality quizzes. I got no idea what sauce goes in. Hey, Tony, I don't know anything about that Let's stuff. Let's go! Uh, let's actually spur around a bit. Let's head to the woods. I like deep into the woods and find mysterious journal with number three on it, half buried in dirt. Inside is tons of information on local monsters and how to defeat them. It covers gnomes, psychics, time travelers, and eye shaped demons. Perform journal. Where's the drama? Where's the inner thoughts and security and school brushes? The world is drawing nothing about how journals work. You gain no fun from this, but you sure get too smart. It's boring. Afterwards, you end up vibing with Milo. You're sharing a hand and you're coming up close to each other. You're both checking your phones. Hell yeah! more emotionally intimate than finally scrolling right inside your number one summer crush. Suddenly, Milo's phone starts blowing up. Granted, Milo's phone is always blowing up, but right now it's worse than usual. You can look so jealous, dear. Just a work text. I keep coming to head off and stuff. I'm not going to be about the evening staycation, but I suppose it's pretty really urgent. Oh, uh, another day, another day. Oh, oh my god, uh, it's a little awkward, isn't it? Well, I'm not you, as you don't know yet, and I shouldn't tell you. Is this 
this little gossip list, Nikki, I want you to just put proprietary information, uh, I'm just gonna give it to you for your soul. Huh? I'm just gonna your soul? That sounds super terrifying, but also a little bit hot. That's why this means you're going to die next week. Sure answer, yep, you're totally going to die. Long answer, life, death, and fate are weird and messy, it's hard to say what I'm saying. It's a fun of nonsense, but you mean the game, yeah, you're going to die. Congrats! This shit, this is the most awkward music. We'll see you both. Why don't you get a hammock? You're starting to freak out. Don't forget, don't freak out. I'm an expert, I promise you. It's not scary as it seems. It's not the mind of the... So it's not the profound and the one. And realistically, it's not like you're in portal right now. It's like a first good problem, but... Death was going to find you eventually. But honest, uh, I'm actually doing you a huge favor by letting you know ahead of time. So I give you an opportunity to go out with a bag. Just make this last week of your life the best week of your life. We'll spend every moment together and we'll end it with each party in celebration of Nikki. Oh, with Milo? That sounds like heaven. It's exciting enough to distract you from your imminent death. You're in. Lovely. God, you're going to get so many close to his followers. I'm almost jealous, though. No. And we should start considering the party as soon right away. It's a big memorable main event. The party, something that will honor your true essence, Nikki. And Avi, it should be Snapchat for any ideas. Time to shot quick. What's the perfect way to do one? Party guest two commemorate your entire existence and three impress Milo. Narrate the epic tale of your life for the profound cuddle when you return to dance, or you'll have your friends give toast in your honor. It'll be emotionally moving, and everyone will get a shift face. Two birds, one stone. The second one. Ah, that's perfect. It'll be like celebrating your life by making money with the lives of the people you love. I know you were so profound, Nikki. If you know anything about drunk and party toasts, we're going to need pre approval on these speeches. You have no choice but to conduct a rehearsal immediately. For the afternoon, getting all your friends together and bringing them with the news. They're dying next week. Shockingly, they all seem to be okay with it. Probably request that they all deliver a toast for your party and just be saved who writes it for himself. Alright, lovely people, we're going to rehearse for Vicky's elegant end of life. Pull out Ash and proceed with a heartfelt eulogies. Hi, Polly. Oh, gee, I can't believe that Vicky is dying. I'm like totally sad about it. Honestly, uh, being dead totally is not even a thing. What's that more fun? Apparently, Vicky is when um, they save school bus of orphans from going into a pit of lava and using only their mega thick past. Yeah! Twerk! 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 Damn, anyway, let's pour one out for Vicky and pour another one out for Vicky's butt. Those cheeks will be missed. This cannot be for real. Okay, I'm the only person who's kind of weird now that Vicky's apparently dying to speak of just me and cool. Anyway, Vicky was apparently the most emotionally intelligent, thoughtful, and woke friend I've ever had. Here's to you. Nice try. Vicky, you don't think people will actually fall for this, do you? Face the face, Natalia! <laughs> yeah, they're all. One and all, I shall, I shall now read aloud a speech for memory of Vicky, a speech that I definitely want myself. Uh, I cannot do voices anymore for some reason. Besides me, Vicky was the greatest warrior of all time. Their legacy shall be written in the stars next to Hercules and Orion, and drink their honor. A couple toast, everyone, I think it's quite clear that Vicky touched so many lives. Do you mind? There's one last rehearsal toast from yours truly. Vicky is a silly goose, we're all aware of that, but we must remember that geese are supposed to be the cutest birds in the whole wide world. No. If I knew it meant to really fall in love with life, but well, watching Vicky's concept now with the failure stopped me that lesson all over again. Cheers, bang. I'm shockingly well. You all spend the rest of the day getting a little bit drunk with your friends. To practice for your party, all of that tomfoolery are seeing complete creativity. Today will be a fantastic day! Alright, and we'll do creativity just to show the things off. Today, all the scouts pick Ray Sheen as a team building exercise. You want all sorts of new ways to braid hair. A person braiding your hair accidentally ties an infinity knot in one and if there's no way to tie it, you see the infinity. The right before coach gets the worst haircut of your life, you see how all the friends will die and seems to help you make David and David said that you're a dear person with romantic prospects. You also watch every Marvel movie that will ever be released to teach creativity for most of plot twists. 
Thinking back to Mont and Glow and Julian going to the classroom just seems to be an interesting discussion. But Glum says that just because someone else is in you doesn't mean you're them, why not yourself? What I'm saying is that it doesn't count as a selfie if someone else can take it, so no, I'm not going to take a selfie with you. Okay, it's definitely mellow care for it's time to learn. I could have sure. What was time really in for that matter was learning. So we're learning about the day. Milo, tell me, you two, is that you're prepared to survive the wild? I'm not answering this, if you say no, you're going to give us a whole lecture. If you say yes, you're going to allow to correct us and give us a lecture anyway. You can do anything with that if you don't answer my question, can I? Hey, good point. Ah, uh, fine. Gee, coach, I think we're pretty prepared for it. Wrong. You're not prepared at all. Do you even know how to tell me it's going to rain later? It's easy. I'll just check my phone right now. It says, wrong. What if possibly possibility ambush you and blow your phone at all? These are things that could happen. Real things. Well then, as much as it would pain me, I haven't saw the possible to stay close and did find the future of the information part. Parts will see, like I always do, I'm absolutely necessary. Wrong, what if you just turtle jumped out of the bush saw the possum? The throw didn't have any guts because it's inside the pool of confetti. I've already made several good gifts out of coast screaming wrong at us. And I am imagining a world in which my phone is being quite too gambles and skinny anxiety. Does anyone know a way to put an end to this exhausting thought experiment? Of course you do. We just need to offer a coach of free method to put money out of its own Dom's I can say though. Today's weather, weather, or according to Reddit, if you play any Iron Maiden or your backwards, it's a very low buzz weather for my ass. I think I'll fill both of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at Reddit. Okay, I do have to have an Iron Maiden record on. On me because they're like seven different dark versions of the fire one, but what are we going to get a record from there? Well, that's easy, I always keep one in my hood and get the fire. Let's get a predict on. Set the record player and start spinning the record backwards. It's long for the eerie beat resolves to a guttural voice. Worship the dark lord or Gilloth, feed him your pets. If you grow strong, he will crack the bones of the world and drink their marrow, he will. No weather forecast, maybe we just get bored a little. Children will have a thousand fingers, they shall be called the two horses for their uh, promising. Let's get ahead again. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with light showers in the late afternoon. The high will be scorching 89 degrees, the low will be. They really not expect it to work. Does it have a weather forecast for every day on there? Today's weather forecast is the only one on this record. For the weather, will be on the B side of the town of this master of puppets at EP. EP, that's what I should have said. Anyway, you guys should really go back and listen. Demonic stuff, there's some really good bits in there. So thanks on the Iron Maiden record, I try to only worship the most good gods and cults. It's one of my many ways of playing back against the future. As for me, I've already pledged my soul to the pie. Good job, kids. Not only did you predict the weather, but you avoided being sucker in by the demonic record spear, which was probably actually a wildly fair disguise. This calls for a celebration. Take fun once more for everybody. Hooray! Not sure where Coach got all that fun and smarts, but you're not complaining. Party down style with Joy and Milo, and you all go a little closer. Look, ghost story! Ghost story! You wander over to the campfire, hoping to peer pre pressure someone into making you a s'more when you find Milo, a Rob, and Hex. Go gather around with notebooks. Hey Vicky, check it out. We're doing poetry. It's like normal sense to be. Exactly, Hex has a reaper with a class taste in the little part. It's of course, I'm a poetry stand. In my infinite compassion, I thought that poetry could be a nice exercise for a Robbie to connect with her feelings and her now with a little more joy. Uh, as opposed to her usual blind rage. Come on, Robbie, poetry is tight. I mean, I usually express myself through the flavor of wrinkles I'm eating, but. Why does show me I can also express his feelings with words? So what effects you see, Rob Deer, there's poems for everyone. Like, epics are poems too, and epics sound right up your alley, doesn't it? Well, I just don't really get it. I mean, my grandmother used to read me the... Mahabharata when I was a kid. That one was cool, and it might count as epic, I guess? I'm trying to put my feeling into this poem, but the only feeling I have is a deep desire to win. 
desire to win? When do you want to win? The Valkyrie's own vulnerability? Dude, do I want to win the poetry, obviously? Probably it's not a competition. Poetry is the opposite of competitive. The insulting Sylvia Plath when playing otherwise. As usual, Milo's just lying in my face so they can get advantage this poetry balance. Nice try, Milo, that trick will work on me. So I think totally this over and over, everything is a competition. Everything? What about, I don't know, sleeping? Yes, it is. It's a competition for who can get the most of it. You can do a challenge, run on, survive on the least if possible. Oh, well, what about yoga? Competition for who's the most bang and sweaty, duh. You guys listen to this poem I wrote. Bagels used to be everywhere, but, but now they're inside me. It's a metaphor for consumerism. Sure it is. Uh, I was getting frustrated with the Robbie's lack of more ability, and Robbie's found that this can play Milo. Uh, ever heard of slam poetry? It's poetry that you can turn into a weapon that we your opponents with. You ever club an enemy to death with your poems a winner or a rob me? You haven't even been writing poems. These are just walks of guys. So if anyone who hears a winner, it isn't me. Well, the second one's for Milo, so that's what we're going the only poems are walk through, so what? Walk through is pretty much the only thing I know how to write. What's he supposed to be doing? Good observation, Vicky. Maybe that's the issue, Rob. Poems aren't supposed to be the guys in dungeons. So it's just an expression of your innermost desires and you describe the most of them. So, dungeons. No conceptual things, for example. My list poems are about the devastating obligation of possibly feeding a hungry audience and the mild guilt I feel when I have to leave someone who's hot. But my innermost desire is to beat the sacred temple of the woods. I struggle conceptually with the magnet puzzle and the big spider boss. These aren't your most desires, these are literally video game objectives. You get to the depth, you want a mental idiot. So if there's a poetry, and that's final. Fine, if you want to be poetry, you'll just have to milk look behind this thing. A bunch of unnecessary line breaks and punctuation from here, we'll call it a day. Fine, maybe I will. Fuck, I love milking honey, it's my all time favorite Pringles flavor. The sad part is that I have to fix that's a real flavor. After a few minutes of inserting random punctuation, Robin Walker's and Rob lets Milo take a look at her poems. I got a Rob, these poems are genius, they're exactly the sort of big beef that was with my 17 year old emotional compromise demographic. Also, I struggle to appeal to this demographic at times, and it's hard for me to relate to their emotional desperation. I have a whole book of poems they're going to love. I suppose I should thank you, Rob. Welcome, I guess. Thank you too, Vicky. I don't know why, but somehow I feel you're responsible for how this all played out. Most seems pleased, or it could be the firelight hitting your contours perfectly. Either way, you're happy. Alright, and uh, this is something that happens uh, after each second week, so you get twice in a full game. Uh, I'm going to use my skills to show off the actual gameplay mode with this first one. So I'll usually end up doing this. Use my skills. Say hello to Juan, the small magical Latino cat. They have been mentioned in the first game, now we actually get to see them. We arise, and so it's time to visit Juan, the small magical Latino cat. Look who's here! I don't know if who in the right mind would take such a risk as my bar. He's even more thirst to common sense. Anyway, get ready to party. And this does require keyboard. So you just try to uh, grab a drink. I want this one. Hey, hey, that's mine. Yeah. There's also one that. Uh, Probably wouldn't work that well on the uh, on Steam Share. Got Cosmopolitan. Cosmotop? The Cosmopolitan receives its name because it absorbs the area towards the cosmos. Thanks to it, any stat effect is now double for you, for better or for worse. Ooh. By the way, the drinks are permanent. So any gains will be double, but any losses will be double as well. It's part where I leave, read people over me. Ciao! 
Today will be a camptastic day. Oh, there's only one place we haven't actually been. So we're going to the lake. The day you bring a magazine to read by the lake, the cover story is how to keep fun while camping with your six hospitals and charismatic friends. Step one, go to the lake. Step two, wait. What's what? That's it? Then why is it not working yet? Oh wait, you just gave too fun. Thanks, Cosmopolitan. Since you're dying next week, my has been helping you live your last days in the forest. So I'm assuming this is a secret route I'm on. Uh, currently the two of you are getting a super fancy cutting crew where a little fish eat the dead skin off your feet. It feels amazing, it's hella IG worthy. Ah, that really hits the spot. If I've said it once, and I'll say it again. You should get better pictures of you. I need some R&R. &R. This not soft life celebrity video has been all consuming, but honestly, I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. It looks at you with such better minds. Your parts are just raised. It's a tender moment. If you enjoy this tender moment, I thought we could talk beats for your end of life bash. I could really immerse myself in the preparations, Vicky. This might be some of the fun. Why is the party playing working on my entire career? First off, the game is insane. I got my boss to let me borrow our future from my evil penthouse, the zoo is made of diamonds, and the mind are literally four dimensional. Go to this huge dramatic entrance for you, where you burst out of the coffin, key, right? And the coffin outfit is the perfect amount of slut, trust me. Oh, you're not going to believe the guest list? All well, the bases, is sure, but we have some huge guest slut here. I've not really yet this kind of pool darn. Look, the L, but we've got several fun and ghosts coming. Both Ezzy and Tesla, so it's just getting interesting. But still, I feel like something's missing. I think we need a big, mind blowing VIP surprise guest. So we can show up halfway through the party uninvited and have a poetic smile and grace with you and we'll be alone, you know. So, when we come to mind, we go long lost queen, correcting your recovery at birth and correction of men. I was right, you definitely need to kick out special guests for your party, and you don't have any long-lost acquaintances to know about. You need to be the perfect VIP to invite. Let's see, the obstetrician who was there for your birth, he has you to swear out, not much for now. Or this party is all about you, so some awkward version of yourself from other timelines. It would be poetic and awesome, like when Beyonce looks in here. That one. Good call. Multiverse selves are such a thing right now. Let's do it, boo. You might as well finish your pedicures and then go ask Joy to perform the summon ritual and all themselves from other timelines. Joy says she can do the ritual, but it's super difficult to anger some cosmic some of her life force. You might as well show her this is an hour of life and death. She's a competent ass witch, of course. So, of course, she rips open a huge multiverse portal. It's purple, pulsing, and she yanks like eight different rooms throughout that thing. It's absolutely precious. It's a rainbow of Vicky. Gather around your alternate selves and give them the lowdown. They're here to be your party guests as you face your own impending death. It makes perfect sense, says one of the Vickies. You know, my universe actually saved the world from two separate nuclear apocalypses. Never the true strength to face my own brutality. I'm so brave. Tully says another version. You could most heroic one of us. All seem to be dead, Vicky. Hit a bit hooray. I thought about before, but I suppose you are pretty heroic, Vicky, and you're naturally popular, we'll see more for you. Multiverse selves all agree to chill out in this universe until the party. You get to know them a bit, and the best one by far is Centaur Vicky. They're exactly like you, except they come from the universe where everyone's centaurs. Why don't you just buy pedal? God, what a mind trip. Hey, my own original Vicky, wanna take a ride? Nay, says Centaur Vicky. Centaur ride with Vicky on Vicky? Oh, that's completely on brand. I'm in. You and Milo hop onto the cent centaur version of you, the three of you can go for a super romantic ride, the wind blows through your hair, and you're happy to be alive. And for being honest, you're still turned on by this whole multiverse Milo experience, you get six fun, along with a fun new fetish. find a tree with the words J and S forever carved on Another tree you find J's liar and a cheap hoe that's less cute. 
And on yet another tree, you find S. I know you bang with folk people abroad in Europe, but what condition you can't take? The last tree, as Dox is J, turns out J lives on 7889 to Sparks Lane. Well, you sure can learn a lot from trees. There's little you love more than loving on Milo, so it's fun to see how many other people are in the same love boat. As Common says, the composition in yourself is always artistic, and you put it in photography. This person says, you post the most inspirational quotes, they equals me. This one just says, mm, with that Reaper dick daddy. Well, assuming all good Reapers have dicks and can identify as something else, so, it's a tricky aura. I am flattered by the sentiment. Love to my fan of book with all my aesthetics and universal room my all of them. Since I actually don't know what the correct pronunciation of that is, I want to say that. Belladonna, I was expecting to hear a conversation on owning your attractors. This intrigued your thing and historical mom for war, but we're fine. Uh, exactly the conversation just described, can't correct her misweaving? No, you on your phone, as always, probably make a lot of posts on your TikTok page. That, that's not how TikTok works. Can correct her misweaving? Maybe if you got a social media page of your own, you'd be able to better relate to your campers? It really is the social hub. To hear it, I refuse to consider the possibility that online interactions can possibly help people who have connections or express themselves in realms that I didn't have the internet when I was your age. And if sick and tired of your campers bearing their nose to their phones, we could be living in the real world, forming real connections, doing real manual labor. As such, Belladonna, I am confiscating your Instagram account for further notice. I'm just admit you're not familiar with the internet, so let me tell you, that's not how it works, you can just confiscate someone's. What? My Instagram account is gone? It just disappeared. How's that possible? I told you, Belladonna, I confiscated it, and there's nothing you can do to get it back. It can't be true, and it won't be true of anything to do about it. There's one way to press Milo, it's got to get their Insta back. Your plan? Let's see. Subject your minds to the mysterious trials in the house of Captured, which refers to Milo's account. Or, according to the Instagram terms of service, any account in the show will just make yourself with a grand race at Carter Mount. We're gonna go with the first one. The, the House of Captain Victor is short. Ooh, attempt to test what you buy. So the rest gonna save for the riddles and mind tricks. It's more the first spring can handle. I truly believe that this is the way to restore my count. I trust you, Vicky. Let's take this journey together. Milo journey through the deep dark con forest of the internet, cave systems, and toxic stalagmites, and masculinity, weaving through likes and subscribes, narrowly avoiding being canceled by giant bats. Finally, you reach a large castle, grounds precariously on a pile of rocks, and you go inside and review by the monks who suddenly guide you into the first room of tests. The moment you go into the first room, you are suddenly surrounded by images, railing, moving, and deep from the voice asks you. Which of these images contain traffic lights? Gather your Milo carefully and nervously touching each image containing a traffic light, which suddenly guides the next room. From its floor sand, on which has been scrolled with some nearly imperceptible phrase, a large stick lies next to it. I, I don't know what to do. But you do. You squint the letters, imagine how they would look. Less slanted, less pixelated, you pick up the stick and write X5 RG2 below it. Right, that was the phrase that was there. The trap door swings open where the writing was, and you would pile up, send the ladder into the darkness. You approach the flames as the voice grew, referencing the fire in the lower room, whisper into it to make your first pet. If you do so, the fire turns bright green. One final question, says the voice, to own more intense than ever. Look deep into your soul and ask yourself to answer me. Are you a robot? As a reaper, much of my life seems to have been prescribed. My career, my duties, my life choices, personality, and hobbies are entirely my own. No, I'm not a robot. The fire goes out and is replaced by a floating white orb which grows softly. That's it, that's my Instagram account. I can tell because it smells like lush products and narcissism. My little piece of orb in their pocket and their Instagram account is new as a score to them. They're eternally grateful to you, so if your pocket is for charm, it's your phone. Again, thank you, Cosmopolitan.
Duh, dude. Nobody was scared of Richard, the guy who stabs the nurse in the last creep. Crapes until you changed his name to Trashback Torso Impaler. Oh, Demon War, you Jerry. He will help you with the brand. It's what you can do. How about this? The Silky Pink San Antonio Slayer. That's enough. Blood. That's an Oscar killer name. Only problem is I'm not from Texas. But we want something super classic like the Butcher Baby Blood. Yeah, you kill more teams than babies, right? And you're still worried about sex stuff? Wait. Oh shit, let's figure it out. How about the campsite Bull Ripper? Demon that's absolutely inspired, but I just checked and apparently someone already has it. The handle at campsite Bull Ripper. Once again. Yep, it exists, and uh, <laughs> it is uh, Jerry's image in, in the avatar. I'm uh, not going to go to the page itself at the moment, but I do want to see, see if it existed. Oh, I fucking hate the campsite board, but that guy's my number one serial killer rival. I'm just ripping everybody's bowls off before I get stabbed. Oh, this is so hard. I'm just with you guys. No, Jerry's so discouraged, he's ready to quit serial killing. We need to give up on their dreams. What about the perfect serial killer nickname for Jerry? The alleged murderer or renowned Austrian syphilis murderer Gustav Klimt. Well, he's always said that I would do, do a voice on from, so very the alleged murderer. murderer. Love it, so intimidating, so bold, so mysterious. The vision guys are now Jerry the alleged murderer. Jerry the Lush Murderer is so exciting, it's exciting about his new nickname that he goes on a huge killing rampage. He kills like so many people and how to catch him right away. But when he's on trial, the prosecutors are forced to refer to him as Jerry the Lush Murderer. Jerry gets super confused and is constantly referred to as the alleged murderer, the whole jury seems like he must not be guilty because he's fighting ass with evidence and Jerry's whole innocent. If you guys recommend all the killings to my trail and stuff, check it out. On the news. Turns on the TV where two newscasters are doing the daily serial killer murder recap. Today, a shocking twist, Jerry the alleged murderer, which will ransom the next who has found six mutilated corpses in the abandoned school bus. He's have arrested the alleged murderer. Wait, I'm confused. Isn't Jerry the alleged murderer? Did he also kill these six people? Uh, I think so. Let's just say yes. He's killed for also work Jerry the alleged murderer. Red News to Jerry. Yeah. Hey, thanks for really help. Seriously, this new the best thing that's ever happened in my career. Sick of the law. Kill them to right. Here's Jerry. And I finally beat the camp so I bore it, bringing the official serial killer national ranking. Looking number six most famous serial killer in the whole country. So happy to see a brand thriving. Vicky, I have to apply to work on this one. Your name's just was a total clickbait and good way. Brad! Yeah, it's a dope name. I had sex with dope because Jerry doesn't have to face any consequences for his crimes. Damien is back, bitches! Actually, now that I think about it, I've decided I'm officially going by a, a new name. Damien the alleged stab with the future thief. Very super grateful and express his thanks by stabbing you. Damien stabs you, and Milo doesn't want to be left out, so they stab you too. Losing a lot of blood, but your friends respect is a lot more worth it. You also gain more charm and team boldness. A new day, a new adventure! Creativity again. You spend the day learning new skills with the monster scouts and work on the badges. Turn a badge for healing a wound only by only using the bark of a tree. Turn a badge for writing poems in the ambient pent meter. Turn a badge for building a blackberry using only real blackberries. Nice, and completing all those nice stuff that probably uses less than to creativity. creativity. Counselors had the poor judgment to leave you alone with Damien, Milo, Marami, and X, and all the time I wrote. Miles used the macaroni for its intended purpose. Painting a selfie. While Hex is eating his is eating raw, Damien is trying to kill it and Robbie is looking up the stats online. Okay. The camouflage guide is a heavy disguised as a coach. I really don't help you at all in a bear attack. What the fuck? That's right, Camus is I, you're delightful and a very pirate coach. Yeah, that's what's about bear avoidance. There, there's no bee in bear except when there is. That's the kind of thing I coach say all the time. Alright, coach, let's get this over with. What's today's bear lesson? I fooled it was me, Counselor Flash, this whole time. Oh, really? You know I said 
Even when you said his eye, you'd like to look at the entire coach. Especially then, I never want myself to I'm in disguise. Your skills are out as well, Council Raj. I'm just so sure worried about the stars. For Salty Rock, you have a lot to learn from Buck and the basket of hand grenades. Let's get hand grenades where? Good. To a gift exchange later, I want to bring some of that purpose to my personality. Kids are getting a little far from the point, probably because I can't push this effect. Why is that just the point then? The point is that everything Coach has told you about bear, bears look for Suey. Should be for bears you learn from them. As I'm sure you know, bears are the only animals forced to kill the humans that are camouflage. You could be a bear right now, the rest of you wouldn't even know. In fact, what it is. That's right, so you can place one to the bear while no one's looking at the potential value lesson of the dark skies. I don't have time for this ridiculous rod. I'm supposed to be certain looks at the soup kitchen right now. But people deserve spiritual nourishment too. It's Milo. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Milo's definitely a bear. I just realized this just showed up here at camp during the summer despite never being around to see me die. Well, you. No one. I haunt anyone this week. Just... Jeez, this is getting kind of heated here. I'm sure Miles not bear is way too careless for what he said about the to the others. No, look, Miles for five minutes. Graham, the process is a good sign. I'm sure that your favorite piece of aren't super bears, or. As long as they are a bear, we're all monsters, right? You want to set Miles to the art of our species? I mean, that's technically right, but no. That's a great idea. You know the term verification process is affecting an appear camera. You watch it on uh, it's not it's really ever verified. The screen verification process is designed to put around people who don't have elegant connects. I think it's pretty fucking elegant now that you mention it. Thank you, darling. It's like I well, was saying we should have the neck issue you had. It's probably actually not a connection. This is not us at all. Are there any other verifications that you want to find not there for me? I'm serious. The process is only good for weeding out which is so racist. True. You mean Twitter finally took decides to actually get racist? No. You're right, that does sound like, oh, I see. I think of this word for raisins. You can't get Twitter verified for raisins. Oh, I think not. What is capture test? Kevin seems really afraid of them, and I've always assumed it looked like it was a pair of bell cons. In other words, that's simple, dog. I'm afraid, however, the capture tests are an only for catching the tubes with two bears intentionally. What the fuck? How are we supposed to find out if Miles a bear then? You are a secret cheese to wild bear. What we can do is we can disguise ourselves as well as they do. It's because we're in here. The best way to disguise ourselves is to let open our fellow camping where we're still like this. Yes, I've decided that's exactly what we're supposed to do our fault still a bit. So I'm going to understand still, so you run like the coward you are. Everyone thinks you're a big loser, and no one will ever quite be sure that, that my is in a bear again. You lose four bonus and two charm. I'm pretty sure I screwed up either way on that one. For a spot to chill by the campfire when you see two beautiful angels. Oh, wait, that's just Dahlia and Milo. Yo, Vicky, come over here. I'm giving Dahlia a crash course in social media marketing and who's an no kicker. Now, Dahlia, I've been waiting on an audit of social media today. Frankly, I've noticed a lot of room for improvement. But for speaking, there's still a digital campaign. And I'm going to feed you metaphorical leaves and take you from metaphorical chrysalis and rich metaphorical butterfly leaf media. They're one of the most trusted advisors because you can find them now. People with allergies are very wise. But I just don't get it. What's this my hell of a beat up to do with my fucking goal conquering the eight circles of hell to remember some queen eternal? Dahlia, if you want to be queen, that means that your reputation is more important than ever to project the become grand image card of political clown. For example, using Twitter to stand Ariana Grande and follow the names of some of you can also use Twitter to gain new followers for your army. You use Helltoy to get a followers? Awesome! I thought you could only do that by King of the Team. Territory is a brutal crushing force. It seems way more effective. Let's do this thing. Make me be a butterfly or whatever. Perf, I think it's time for a total brand refresh. How about we reintroduce you as a fitness influencer? You'll just have to promote protein powders two or three times an hour. Nice, and I can post about my daily workout routine. Resume. Jokes are bigger than me. I know Dom on Pony stole my name. Um, I might be a little off point to some demographics. Remember what we were connected to brand new. You can introduce like more hobbies, like crochet. Yeah, 
Yeah, how do you know? I usually harvesting and testing like between enemies and cliche nets. She's trapped more by enemies, though. That's what we're going to hashtag contact. Okay, yikes on a few levels. Maybe we should just go to the basics. How about a regular live stream your schedule so your fans can get to know you? A live stream? I love live streaming between my enemies. That's when you stream the life out of someone by so you join another blood, right? It's a lost smile. I can't wait to pin my block with my wall for some live streaming. Not on the same page, or not even the same book. The audience book is probably made of flesh. Time for just to move around. The audience's most mysterious and alarming trait is the sign of ancient names. So they're playing the sign of agents here and there for no reason. They're caught off guard. Or the audience's brand is Tessie from now on, only between all caps, we will love it. Well, the first one's gotta be the mile one. Those seems intrigued by your idea. You mentioned that. You even planted a sign of H in off guard for your point. No wait, did you really? I didn't notice that sign of H it caught me off guard. Ooh, that is fun. Wait a sec, are you guys serious? My name is Sign H in it? Um, yeah, Dahlia, it's after the A and the group of Kalaya. How could you not know that? I shall never be silenced and not show my name, owner. Now I could that everyone pronounce the H in my name, never again shall H be silent. It's a declaration, but I think it's kind of possible to pronounce that age. The sign of age is very well established grammatically. Ha, <laughs> did it again. Blast me. Nothing is impossible to me. Dahlia Aquino. Dahlia is definitely pronouncing the H in her name, but she doesn't use a typical H sound. Instead, she's a guttural scream, some direct steps of hell. The event was chasing you forever. You feel the top layer of your brain cells evaporate and see the big chunk of sanity goes with them. No longer tell if any of this is real or if you're actually trapped in a video game. I guess we'll never know. Hell yeah, I'd say it's a huge improvement to my name, which is already a town ten. This is my face and body. That was a deeply unselling thought. That was deeply unselling Dahlia. I hadn't heard a sound that a resident had tried to read in an opera scene was trapped with. Ha! Ah, thanks a lot for your help, Mom. Wow, you just made a pretty awesome team, huh? Well, we just think she has to email her bank about the way to pronounce her name. Milo collapses onto her shoulder. Disturbing as that was, I must admit that I'm impressed with your witness. You're gonna listen to the entire album my phone with me? Here's what throw out me in a bad way, and then bank for something that cleanses my auditory palate. Alone time with Milo? Damn, now you're here's what throw out me a good way to score. Alright, now we're going to the gamble. We get arrived, so it's time to visit Juan and a small match for a Tino Cat. Look who's here! Look at my bar! But I don't know if Luna Wright Mile takes such a risk. It's even more thirst than common sense. Oh wait, check this drink out. Manhattan. Maybe if I got the recipe right, wanna try it? It's, it's literally Manhattan, it's your love. Otherwise, what's have the mystery box? Look, I'm always looking for the box. Whiskey. Or for me. This box of all of you. You're happy with it, no refunds. And what's the whiskey do? Hold oh, a potion that looks like whiskey, its powers to taste and smell like whiskey, nothing else. The suspicion that I just made whiskey. Oh, now we're talking. Eh, works for me. You stomach that, happy trails. So, one of the other possible effects I had. Was uh, I you could still. rearrange all of your stats. Let's work on pulling this again. While exploring the haunted manor, you hear a voice calling your name under the bed. Two blood red eyes stare at you from the darkness under the bed, a voice that sounds more than time to school. You want to get some boldness, Vicky? Say yes, because you actually do want that. Okay, here you go. Whatever the thing is, it gives you two boldness. What a nice under the bed thing. You spent Apple Juice on Power Outlet, and you're about to scream off the sticky news from the fourth week to Milo. Right, it's been two weeks. If this is Dickie, come with me, dear. I can to help you with his soul into the afterlife, and I'm confident you don't have any better than me. It's really just a compliment, not everyone has the dog round of needs. Your appetite may be turned, plus you get paid experience. I'm looking forward to cleaning off that Power Outlet, but if we can wait until Milo. You need to wait for a fresh corpse, and one soul is in your body. Oh, recently just dead cutie, I'm your new BFF for your journey to the afterlife. Some call me dad, others call me desire, but of course, I'm not. 
Madness is the source of personality. The king has gone mad. Madness. Okay, that was a lot. Honestly, I don't want to be grumpy. Most of my wealth is forever. I always can make a key. I'm going to be at that. Let's do my tale of woe. The salt keeps young. Mad Merc King. The Merc King is not mad. I'm pretty sure the Merc King was always mad. The key, this is totally a teachable moment. We dead souls are always going to tell you how they die. He's just like these guys. We need to listen to the soul begins shouting the tale. As so the Merc King's master of coin, I serve the Merc King with pride and he was 180% tax upon the peasantry. For the dark night when the Merc King was attacked, he survived and became paranoid, claiming that the attack was a complete one served by his council and killed us all. I still cool in my dying words and tried to tell the Merc King. It's an ancient curse upon the crown. That dark man was struck by a vengeful specter. So the specter myself he took the form of a young woman. As the specter passed me, he fired under the specter to kill you and the devil's lettuce. Oh my god, I'm riveted. The assassin's to kill without ghost? I'm afraid I'm gonna make the drama. I know, right? Thanks for listening. I feel better for telling my tale of love. I'm gonna act like I'm not too darling, but I'm afraid I have a problem. I see that you're hoping to bring along some luggage. That's fine. Way of our weight and our possessions. For the weight limit, preposterous, my claim bear you just knife and satchels for my dearest possessions. Can I bring to a comedy plus? Afraid not, dear, I only give special treatment to realm good dead people, like the ones who are verified on Twitter. It's not fair. Pah, what do you mean I'm not relevant enough for special treatment? I know the Merking called this customer service to call it Madison, it's good your manager. Oh, looks like this dead aristocrat is going for Karen move. I was just about to say Sir Karen. <laughs> I was about to say that. Quick, prove your worth as my in turn and help them figure out what luggage to leave behind. Do this t-shirt bike, you don't have a physical body now, so there's no point in keep, keeping it tight, or I'm about leaving behind a suitcase full of bowling balls. It will be practical. Ah, my charming turn is right. If you simply leave behind this large suitcase that's filled with just bowling balls, we can be on our way to hell. I mean the afterlife. You got a possible you see my bowling balls are my most prized possessions of all. There are treasures I couldn't possibly part with them. They'll be used to you. After all, there are no bowling alleys in the afterlife. We ain't told that no police force will after the great city is so worthy of this no aid. In case of fools, these bowling balls are decorative. You're not supposed to play with them. They're each from an important time in my life. Wait, really? I suspect that these are from a tacky weekend bowling league. I'm curious, why are these balls about what you see? I'll explain. See, look at this one. I bought this bowling ball that they had for my wife left. Yeah, time I look at it. This one, this bowling ball is exactly the weight as the first baby I killed. I hold it, I feel it with that person who wouldn't kill a baby. This, this is my first bowling ball. I'm probably going to be right from the set. You're just going to be burned down our house and be on my phone forever. Stop right there, recently dead person. Same, I'm not going to bother to learn. This is an emotional intervention. I know that you died in life is easy for normal looking people, but that's no sense to hide your light under your own sadness. So one goes to drag you down. You need to leave this collection of visual memories behind. Not because it's a weight requirement, but because it's a weight to present on your heart. You, you're right, the soul cries out through the deep subs. Let me leave them behind. This weight, I rid myself of it. You, Milo, and the soul take the bowling balls back to their home, the bowling alley, and set them on fire is a dramatic gesture of catharsis. It's so moving. I feel so much better now. I feel so like a part of my soul. It's like I'm implied. Thank you. Thank you to death. Thank you for the sister. Hey. I'm happy that you're happy, dear, and you really should get a move on. I just got a notification about another gig I have to be ran through this. The entire bowling league needs to be escorted heavy, and their cause of death was apparently arson and the sexual bowling alley structure box. That's so random. I'll give you a going letter of recommendation that will even let you kill someone to practice a reaping. Hell yeah, you can put creativity and do fun and rush and murder. Brought my first aid kit, <laughs> just in case. Uh, let's see. Look at the woods again. I like the woods. They decided to hike all the way across the woods. Let's see what's on the other side. It's a long, treacherous hike that ends up only taking an hour. I guess these woods aren't that big after all. But even your friends get lost too often. In a way, it turns out that there's a library on the other side of the woods. You go and read the books or something, engage your smarts. You're going to die in less than 48 hours, but honestly, this is the best we can for your entire life. It's all thanks to Milo. It's 
Let's make every moment with you, playing your big party, and help you celebrate the best parts of your life. Currently, the two of you are admiring some blooming pink cherry blossom trees together. In a private garden, of course, but it's right in front of you. But the blossom's gorgeous, sticky. Technically, cherry blossoms are supposed to bloom in the spring, not summer. I caught a few favorites of nature, so you can see them now. It would be a downright trash if you die for some of these flowers involved. My own sighs happily and leans on your shoulder as we whip out their phone and start texting. There is a this is one of your favorite parts of life. Why I come through silence while some of your boards texting right beside you. You enjoy the moment. You look, Vicky. The caterer for the party just confirmed that they can make the music whoosh. Looked like tiny versions of your face. Thank God. In my mind, I can't believe the party's tomorrow. Life flies by so quick. By the way, have you started to play to your big party toast? Be the total climax of the evening, and really, the encapsulation of what made your life worth living. No pressure, though. Pray me, read me what you have so far, dear. I'm sure I'll throw you, be thoroughly impressed with your fundity. Hey, it's time to press the fuck out mile with your big party speech. You work on so it should be easy. Just have to make up two poetic metaphors in one mind blowing closing line. Here goes. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting this. Uh. Good evening, cherished friends and family. Today I die, but don't fret. It's okay, for death is... The end of a beautiful song. As I, Vicky, face my rapidly approaching doom, I now realize that life is like... Uh, let's see... A decadent juicy peach to be enjoyed for last bite. And as I prepare to leave, I want to tell you about the thing I think everyone should do at least once before leaving this round. We should all. Now it's just a straight up party. Yes, yes. Words were so true, so wise. I've brought death to so many people, and I could have put it there myself. Death truly is the end of a beautiful song. Think, think like that? My job as Grim Reaper requires a whole new layer of meaning, doesn't it? Life, life, such poetry, Vicky. Make life and death make so much sense. Of course, life is clearly a decadent, juicy peach to be enjoyed from the last bite and won't end with the end of a beautiful song. Those two things are such a perfect complement for each other, such an obvious balance. I put like that and make you fall in love with life all over again. If you didn't know you had such poetry in your heart, thank you for sharing with me. By the poetry in life may sound cheesy, but it's so necessary. Besides, there's so many people spending their days complaining and focusing on what makes them hurt. So much frustration, anger, and sadness. It's true that life can be hard, but it's not a good or a bad thing. It's a complicated entanglement of many things that span and span until it stops spinning and is expected. Do you welcome death as the final chapter to all the delicious things your soul savored? Or would you ask yourself why you never got this chance to party as you realized all that could be and wasn't? That actually fit. I mean, that actually fit. Then, then there's other people, the ones that, as you say, see like this addicted juice and keep these to be enjoyed for the last life. The last fight. It's so sweet to watch them die. Their soul truly the same sticky as they found the little miracles in the, in the day by day. They remember all the kisses, all the dances, all the laughter, and the celebrations where they ended up in the the sun as they arrived surrounded by loved ones. So, every gate of life looks so at so peace, and as they take my hand, they tell me about all these beautiful memories. Mother takes her hand. How can you not love life when, in between all the pain, is the intention to harbor all that raw and risk beauty? Is everything weird and wonderful? If we had only met before, if we had only Time. We could party together, imagine that. No, I choose to focus on what's good. And I'm happy that we met now, Vicky, and that I got to know you this well before you go. Come. No post a vibrant, passionate dance. Remember it will be a sad day, but also a wonderful day. This dance to life and to all that makes this wild ride something so memorable. And to you, to you and me. Let's dance forever till the world ends. Dance with me. You so intensely, it's like they pierce the very core of yourself. Ah, so 
too close to the end, and yet feeling like life is just blossoming with such a feast of emotions. Who cares? Today you dance. Today you dance forever. Let's go. Oh, well, obviously Milo. Sweet. Today's the day. The day you die. Hey, Vicky, we both know what happens now. Are you ready? As ready as you'll ever be. Your big party goes off without a hitch. It's a true celebration of life. Your life. After several hours of dancing and fun, everyone has gone to watch the theater shower or somewhere else. It's been beautiful, hasn't it? I've loved doing this with you. Didn't know you that well before, but now that I've helped arrange a celebration of life, I think I know you much more better. I must admit, I like what I see. Okay, it should happen at any moment now. I'll get a few on the gig. Let's take a gig nearby tonight, so I should be the one to the other side. You hold hands and wait. And wait. Weird, let me check something. Oh. Oh. Okay, so funny story. I think I messed the gig. It wasn't used dying tonight, but another big key. It's a pretty common name, you know. Ah, if I only paid a bit more attention to my gigs. My bad. So, you're not going to die? I mean, you will someday, but not tonight. Still, we could keep on celebrating life, if you know what I mean. No sorts of dressing while entering the lake. I throw your short suggested plans. Damn. Card stops for a second, but like in a good way. Join Milo in the lake. They're so free, so in love with life, it's inspiring. We learn a lot from them. Like how meaningless it is to worry about death, we can spend every minute basking in the earthly wonders of being alive. And that night, celebrate life and a feast of flesh and desire. That's supposed to say, that's definitely a secret ending, right? I have no idea what special stuff means. I still had many wonders and special in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it, how this is the foundation of the knowledge of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies, sung for centuries, wild nights and happens true forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by.
Gallery's not available yet, unfortunately. Which is why I screenshot the Polaroid. Unlock Poison. Unlock the Stats movie. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, like I said, I'll definitely do more of this. Uh, because I really like Monster Problem and I love Monster Cam. I really can't wait to see, to see more of the the bus prom to holiday stuff. So thank us for watching. See you next time. Have a great time or maybe bye guys. Mm -hmm.